unless you've been living under a rock the past few days, I'm sure you're all aware of the unexpected release of Tomb Down Infinite's open beta. Now, I say unexpected because of the fact that we we haven't really heard anything from the team in a while, minus a few posts on their Facebook page, but those updates were more for setting up a storyline and didn't really provide significant information on, you know, when the game was going to be out, what was going to what you were going to be able to do, new features. None of that was talked about really. So, it's this has definitely came as a shock to me cuz they hadn't teased or made any announcements beforehand or anything. And personally, I like the way they decided to release it. No suspense, they didn't tease us, they just announced it and let everyone have at it. I think that's the way everything should be, instead of announcing something and then saying it'll be available in two months. Like, come on, that's that's just a buzzkill, because by the time, because people get excited about it when it's announced, but then by the time it rolls around to release date, people are just have just moved on to, to something more interesting, because we, as human beings, are very impatient creatures. Now, it being the first day, of, the first day of beta, things were pretty awful for a good hour or so. However, the game was updated about four times within the first few hours of playability. Those updates made the game run somewhat smoothly. I mean, for beta, for the first day of beta, first few hours of beta, it ran pretty smoothly, minus a few crashes here and there. It's definitely off to a much better start than Rewritten's beta had. I I didn't get the chance to get on Rewritten's beta when it first came out, but I have friends that had first-hand experience in that beta, and they said it was basically unplayable for a few days. And Rewritten's beta was um, basically unplayable for maybe an hour or so, but they've are they're already starting to get this stuff figured out. Sorry about that. Um, now, if you took the time to read everything posted that was posted to the website when the game was released, then you know that we've already had some drastic changes being made to what we knew as Toontown Online. These changes include, instead of maxing... Instead of maxing your suits at level 50, they will be maxed at level 12. A laugh point is gained each time you become a new cog, which means, like, say you're a cold caller, you became a telemarketer. That would mean that uh, you'd get a laugh point from that. So you would get 8 laugh points from each boss. Uh, this one's a little, of a little bit of a throwback. If you die in a boss battle, then a part of your suit is gone. I believe you can lose up to two parts, and you'd have to go into whatever to get it back. And the factory was reverted back to what it was in Old Toontown, I think. On top of that, uh, the suit, there are no more suit tasks. You can just, the way you get them is like the factory. You just go into the respective factory office, mint, whatever, and get them. And... All of them, all of the suits only require 10 pieces, so you don't have to worry about doing 17 front threes or something ridiculous like that. You just got to do everything 10 times. Now, uh, you might be wondering, doesn't this mean something ridiculous can happen, like a uh, 15 laugher can CEO? Uh, that's what I thought at first, but apparently... Uh, my friend that's a moderator on the game says that there are laugh limits placed on everything, so something dumb like that couldn't happen. And... Ah. I was wondering. Okay. And other sources have told me that the bosses have become more difficult, and they've been... V2.0 cogs have been added in there, and bosses other than the CEO and they've gotten rid of the little cogs and like the VP and the CFO I don't know if that's completely true or not though because that those specific specific details weren't on the website 
So right away, you know, we're seeing changes that we want to see from Disney for years and years, but never got. And in the first day of beta, Infinite delivers, it delivers big time. They're, they're making a change, and they give it, they're trying to give us what we want, you know, trying to cater to the players. Some people, I mean, some people might be upset at the drastic reduction in suit levels, but I personally think it's actually a great idea. The only reason <clears throat> they were ever that high in the first place was so Disney could keep customers playing for as long as possible and they could keep eating our wallets for as long as they pleased. Now that money is no longer involved, why should it be that high? Why should we have to get to 50? I mean, Toon T Infinite's not making many, any money off of us. It doesn't matter how long we play. That money's not involved. I think uh, Ugly Corny said it best by stating that the team is attempting to make Toontown into a game that makes sense rather than having a system with a bro having a game with a broken leveling system. Plus, the game will be getting new content at some point. Content that everyone wants. What if one day we had 8 or 9 HQs in the game? Speaking hypothetically right now. Would you really want to get a level would you really want to go to level 50? And that many bosses. Like going to level 50 and 8 or 9 bosses would be asinine. I know full well that I'm perfectly guilty of falling into the trap. Disney set with their ridiculous leveling system. And in the long run, that wasn't a good thing as far as my interest in the game. By the time I wasted all of that time maxing all the suits, I was just burnt out on the game and didn't feel motivated to start something new. Because getting to level 50 and 4 bosses takes time, takes motivation, takes effort, and takes dealing with, it took dealing with Nutty River's lag, and dealing with stupid people, and back nines, and it was just irritating. So you know, by the time I maxed them all, it was sort of hard to get motivated to do something else. I mean, but this new system will ensure that maxing all the suits, the original four at least, because I'm sure there will be other suits to get once they've made new content for COGS. It won't leave me bored and tired of it all. Before yesterday, I thought making the choice of which server to play only depended on how fast everything ran. But, I mean, this definitely changes things. If you want the older system, then Rewritten is the game for you. If you enjoyed getting... If you still want to get to level 50 and all the bosses and take all that time... But if you're ready for something fresh to come to Toontown for the first time in a long time, a long time, Infinite's the place to go, for sure. I may end up playing both depending on how good Rewritten's new content is, but we'll see. For now, Infinite's probably is definitely the game I'm going to be playing first. Because they're doing what Disney didn't do. They're listening to players, trying to make a change, adding new content adjusting the difficulty level we got a harder factory again harder bosses and just all around make trying to make it a better game when rewritten so far they've they've basically just put in it's basically just the original toontown online that we all knew plus a few plus a few stupid things like their dumb lore animation and little stuff like that that doesn't really make a difference it's just annoying but yeah so for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Infinite when both fully release. I'll be playing Infinite first, depending on what Rewritten's new content is, what their new boss is or whatever, then I'll be playing that. But until then, it's definitely gonna be Infinite. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video.